The truth spirit spoken of in today's gospel requires honesty in all of your dealings. But we as a culture have been failing miserably in our interpersonal areas of taking responsibility to make a proper apology and showing respect and love to each person that is their due. Rather, in the latter case, it has been rampant disrespect, abuse and violence. People don't know how to apologize in Western culture, as they no longer are willing to take full responsibility for anything. Every action is predicated, conditional. I am responsible only if these conditions are also true or are met. Looking at news clips, at numerous sources of data of po in popular culture, which simultaneously leads the behavior of the culture, and tastes of the culture. Well, it also reflects it. The wholesale switch to conditional responsibility occurred in the late 1980s, led by such horrible shows as the Roseanne Barr show. I highlight the show Roseanne Barr as it was the singular example of interpersonal abuse. That the culture found abusive behavior funny is akin to the Romans using death battles for entertainment. It is a reflection of the movement of values within the society. I used clips from the Roseanne show on a compilation of domestic violence in our modern media, starting the scene with a jaw-dropping exemplars from the entire Garth Brooks' The Thunder Rules video, on to 15 clips from The Simpsons, Bart hitting Homer, Bart hitting Lisa, Bart throwing things at Marge, all to a laugh track. Then 22 clips from Roseanne of name calling, casual physical violence, threats, all to studio audiences laughter. No one laughed during this video. There were 12 different videos because there was so much to do. Most of the people watching started silently hugging themselves with tears streaming down their faces. A half a dozen high school students became physically ill while watching it. This gave the opportunity for counselors in those schools to intervene, to act to protect these students who felt that no one understood, so they suffered in silence. All of them were victims of abuse at home, but no one knew. If we don't admit to the behavior is inappropriate to start with, then we will never take responsibility for committing these violations to our partners, our children, and our friends. Look at your behavior. Do you jokingly use put-downs, name-calling, and similar behavior at any time with or to any persons? Are they truly laughing or going along for form's sake? Look at their eyes. Do they get a hard look or a gleam of resistance when you say these things? If they are looking at you with just a hardened look, their eyes gleaming over, they are not laughing with you. Then they are violated, but you are victimizing them. Many of you are verbal abusers without consciously knowing it, and that is worse than actually consciously doing it. For you are abusing and abusing and abusing and victimizing, 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 and you will never admit it. It is time to stop. You fell into the habit, and it is time to stop. I ever so bravely walked on that path, for the people I was around spoke this way, but it was as I was creating the first of these video compilations. And as I was creating those compilations, I was ever cured. I put a stop to that talk to me, or around me, or I ended the relationship for lack of respect for me as a human being and to anyone around me. Examine yourself. Examine your behavior. 
Do a moral inventory if necessary. Make amends. Make a change. And where necessary, to all of those who you have abused and are abusing, apologize. Start being Christian to them. Show love. Show respect. Show your faith. You do not deserve love in return until you show love to them. When Christ said, love one another as I love you, he was loving them unconditionally and he was getting love back. I love all of you unconditionally. It was quite easy because none of you ever speak to me. None of you ever communicate to me. So I can pray for you easily. Communicate with me and I can love you even better. Communicate with those you love lovingly. If you physically abuse anyone, it is time to get counselling. It is time to go to the police and admit your crimes and do the time. For that way you will get all of the help for free. All of the public assistance you need. And that way, your victims will also get the help for free. 